What's up, volleyball fans? My name is Piotr Siekiewski, and this is the podcast Volley Time. Our today's guest is Mr. Igor Kolakovic, the head coach of Alugon CMC Varta Zavircia. Hello, coach. Hello. Hello. Thank you for uh, inviting me in your show. Thank you. It's a, it's a big pleasure for me as well. Uh, so, uh, coach, it looks like after the first round, you will finish uh, whether fourth or fifth place. How would you rate this result? Is it good, bad, average? I can I can say that we have opportunity to win more games, but also we we, we were in the in some games also in difficult situation. In the end, I can say that it's uh, it's target what we want before the the season to to reach its uh, fourth or fifth place. It's it's good result after the first part of the season. Mm -hmm, right. Okay. Would you agree with me that Plus Liga is stronger than ever? I don't know in the past, but if I compare with the last season, so for sure, because uh, this season we have a lot of uh, foreigners uh, who is better players than the from the last season, and also we have some players from Poland they uh, come back in, in the league to play, uh, and all the teams. It's, the, the organization of the teams and uh, the, the system of, of the games is really, really strong. So I think uh, if we compare this league with Italian, with Russia, with Turkey and the other strong league, uh, league in, in the Europe, I can say that for me, maybe Italian few teams, they are stronger uh, of, the, of the Polish teams. But uh, if you compare the complete league, I think the Polish league is much stronger than the, the others, more interesting league. and. I really enjoyed to be here. Yeah, right. Yeah. This is your second season in Zawiercie. Did you already adapt to the Polish uh, league, to, to Zawiercie? Because you said once that you didn't live in such a, a small city. Uh, of course, this is not uh, something bad, but uh, yeah, did you adapt already to this place? Oh, last season was really difficult for me because it was a pandemic. I was alone here without my family and also I didn't have any uh, member in my staff. So even the guys from the staff was really kind and everything. But first time in my life I worked in, without my my people in the staff. So also Zavirce is a small city and last season I, mostly I stay in Zavirce because it's not possible to travel somewhere to, to visit some places. Uh, and to feel Poland, uh, really Poland. So this season is much better and normally I adapt on the volleyball and quality of volleyball, but uh, maybe I'm not adapt yet in the, uh, for the living in Poland like I expected. Yeah, okay. yeah you, you mentioned your staff uh, because uh, before the season you have changed uh, the, the staff. Uh, mm, was it your idea and uh, mm, uh, what, uh, how big influence on the current form has uh, your staff right now? Oh, I can, I can say that I didn't change staff. So the, 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 the decision of the president was that, that he would like to, to change staff. So he gave me opportunity to take uh, one member from my country, so for that reason, I, I, I invite my also ex assistant coach from France, uh, Sergeant Popovic, and because we work together uh, in Budushan Spodrovic and Khan, also he was my player, and we played together in the past. But uh, it was good opportunity for me. But the decision was of the of the club, the president of the club, and uh, also he invite uh, Oscar Kashmarek to be in our staff, so that's all about the staff. It's it's uh, more important how we can build our team to the end of the season. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, before the season, uh, Zawirci has signed many great players. And uh, um, is Uroš Kovacevic in Zawirci your idea? Oh, he can be idea everywhere for me, but I didn't expect that he can come in Zawirci because uh, okay. I know the, the how is high the, the contract of Uros was in the past and in which team he he played. Yeah. So we spoke him because uh, I was with Uros was from his uh, 17. So he he was with me in uh, Ljubljana uh, at Cehavole two years and after that in national team Serbia yeah. many yeah. years. So. 
in one moment we spoken about uh, his future and from the next season and he told me he, he has some offer from Poland and I told him okay but if you like to come in Poland you have to come in my club so <laughs> but it was joking it's not was a okay. real situation and in the end he told me okay good but nobody proposed me nothing so okay and I spoken with Mr. President Crispin and also is not I wasn't sure that he can accept some some contract but yeah. in the end he accepted and I was really first of all happy and I was surprised that he accepted because the Vierge is a small city small club but uh Urush is the player who who can give to the all the team really uh, good quality and also I'm I'm happy because he adapted here uh, with the other guys so also in, in the first part season I can say that he played good and that's all about the story of, of Urush. Right okay how far from your optimal form uh, are you in current uh, days so how far uh, how I'm much sure. space for improvement uh, there is still I'm in sure the that, I'm sure that that I, I expected that we can play much better than now. So, but I don't know really all the possibilities of, of the old the players. But as a team, we can we can play much better. So, for sure that we have up and down in, in, during the game. Uh, but day by day, I think we feel better each other, and uh, I hope that our how I say the best shape will be in the in the playoff because. My experience from the last season is that uh, what is important in the Polish league, how you will play the playoff. Because in playoff, everything uh, it's uh, how I say it, everything is will be decided. So who will be champion, who will take the medal, who will play the European Cup, and everything. So doesn't matter how you you play during the season, like Warsaw last season, they didn't play good, but in the end they they, they reached the. Uh, bronze medal of Jastrzemski, uh, so Zaksa was like this is an uh, amazing team in Europe and in the end they took the silver medal. So that means that we have to be ready for the, for the playoff, but I hope that our performance has to be much, much better than now. Mm -hmm. uh, I watch a few, uh, most of the games of your team and uh, I noticed that uh, your receiving line is uh, suffers very often and you play with the high balls mm, would you take into consideration uh, to um, replace Michał Żurek by Bartosz Makos for example or to change something um, Bartosz Makos is a young player without so much experience he is good yes. uh, he is good uh, player but uh, I trust to Żurek because Żurek is the captain of the team yeah. okay he's not perfect in the reception but he's big fighter and he's uh, for our mentality really important so all the games you have to win, so it's not easy to change uh, Zurek with uh, Makos because also uh, we can lose the rhythm of the our game, and also I, I trust Zurek a lot. So because of this is my decision that he play until now without changing. So okay. I know that uh, he didn't receive uh, so good in some games, but he, as I said. He's a big fighter, he fight to the end, his mentality really good and I like this guy, so it's uh, so he has all my trust. Yes, okay, thank you, sir. Uh, Michał Szalacha is uh, unfortunately seriously injured and he will probably come back in February. Um, did you take uh, into consideration to uh, sign a middle blocker in the short term? So we have idea like this, and uh, but we didn't re realize until now because uh, it has to be Polish uh, middle blocker, and also we didn't find good option. And but in, in this period suffered the three other middle blockers because during the practice and during the games they uh, we have a lot of effort. So from that reason we, we have to find somebody. But uh, until now we didn't find. So the, the club didn't didn't give me any any uh, option. Uh, some middle blocker 
We need him uh, can join us uh, until uh, Shalakh is come back. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, I, I get two more questions about Uvash Kovacevic. Um, was that your idea that he will, will receive uh, so many balls uh, um, by every game? Actually, I saw him, uh, especially I think against. Uh, uh, Vakshava, he was completely exhausted. Yeah. So, is that a part of the tactic, or this is the setter's choice to set him? So, so I mean, I, I didn't because in the beginning you told me uh, he received a lot. So he received or he attacked? He attacked. He uh, he smashed the ball. Okay. So, well, yes. You know that Urosh is the the player who likes to to be on, on the fire all the time. So it's uh, sometimes he call a lot of balls and uh, in the suggestive way he make pressure on the setters to, to set him especially <laughs> difficult balls because he is really good in the difficult yeah. balls so and he knows to, to save the ball and because of that okay we can say that he is a guy who can who knows how can uh, how he can attack especially in the difficult situation so from that reason he has a lot and uh, we try to to how i say to make balance between the, the attackers but mm -hmm. uh, as you know, when you would like to win, sometimes it's, uh, in some situation we force him two or three times in the same action. So, but Turos like to play this. He needs this challenge, and uh, he's a guy who, who who likes this situation. So uh, it's not easy to to put him out of the of, from out of, of the attacks because he lose the, the 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 focus and everything and. Uh, it's better to use him if, if he is physically good like now, so it's better to use him in attack. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got one more question about him. Um, uh, I think he, he seems to be a very moody player. Uh, do you do you clash with him uh, by trainings? And how big impact on the other players uh, has Uroš Kovacevic? Can, can you repeat me the question? Because I, sure. I'm not sure that I understand good. So, uh, so. Okay, so uh, I think uh, Uroš is very moody player, so uh, he uh, uh, he likes to talk a lot and he likes to have the uh, power in his hands. Uh, uh, and do you uh, clash with him uh, or uh, do you got strikes with him uh, by, by training? So in the practice, he's a uh, he's guy who train Really good and okay. He likes also in the, in the in the practice to win because most of our practice is the is the part of the game. So it's with, with some I, I can say with some uh, uh, adding of the balls. But uh, Urosh is the is the player who is the really specific guy. He is not easy guy and uh, and uh, maybe his energy don't like. Uh, all the players, I don't know, but in the end, when he give, give you, how he say, completely his energy, his uh, his fight and everything, in the end you have to to be, I can say, satisfied because you have him. So I'm really happy because he's Urosh in, in our team. I know that it's a little bit risky because his uh, outfit is a little bit strange, but in the end he's a really nice person and uh, he's uh, really big sportsman and uh, he likes to win so everything is coming because he, he likes to win so right. you know uh, a lot of great players has the different behavior than than i can say normal players so you have to be how i say tolerant uh, if it's not going over the some limit or over the some red line so you have to be tolerant because he gave you a lot Right. Uh, uh, does he have a big impact on the younger players? Uh, because he, he can be, uh, he, he's a leader for sure, and he can be a kind of, uh, mm, mm, he is for sure a star as well. And uh, younger players can uh, follow him, yeah, follow his uh, behavior and follow his uh, yeah, passes, smashes, yeah. So, so it's, it's not easy to, to, to how to say, uh, to follow him in this way because uh, he's player who also if you ask him he can't explain you how <laughs> he do something because uh, for example i i'm fighting with him about some situation that he needs for example better approach for some balls and i try to to speak by by by, uh, by some rules of my philosophy of volleyball but uh, sometimes he does opportunity and but he is uh, successful in this situation so it's not easy 
for the young players to how I say to, to imitate him to imitate him because it's uh, I think he's unique. Uh, they can use some of his experience and some of his uh, technical things and maybe some uh, thinking uh, in, in during the game about uh, the, the, how he can solve the problem, but it's not easy to to imitate him uh, by movement. About the behavior, some some of the young players maybe like how his his behavior, some not like it's uh, it's up to the personality of that young players, but uh, also is also he is unique in that you have to be natural. Urosh is natural; he don't uh, hide nothing in the court. When he is angry, he shows that he is angry. When he is happy, he shows that he is angry. So he's he's uh, he's natural and he's honest guy uh, on the court. So he can't even he, sometimes he. He is not uh, how I say that uh, he he not realized that he did something uh, in the game, some faces and something like that. Uh, uh, but in the end, after the game, he told me, "No, I I'm not really. I not realized that I did this." So it's so he is unique. It's not is easy to imitate him. But for sure, there are a lot of young players can watch him, follow him, how he saw some situation uh, during the, the practice during the game because he he has a, ro a lot of option to, to solve the some difficult balls yeah especially yeah. but the, the most difficult balls right okay let's let's leave Uroš Kovacevic uh, mm, coach please uh, share with me your thoughts uh, is there a chance to mm, that Maxi and uh, Malina will play a bigger role in the team uh, Maxi and Malina in this moment, uh, they are really important players for us. Okay, Malina wasn't in the good shape first part of the season. From that reason, Konar Konarski started and he, now he, in the last, I can say, four games, he played really good. Uh, Maxi, he started the season. During the season, uh, I changed uh, Tavares and Maxi, but uh, in the end, I, I decided to start and play with uh, Miguel. Uh, but Max is really important player for us. He's uh, really professional and really quality guys. So I'm sure that you can use him in the until to the end uh, to the end of the season for sure. Also Marina in, in the last three weeks uh, he's come back in the previous shape. Uh, but fortunately before the game against uh, Jezo he he has some small injury during the practice and he missed a few practices. But I hope that he didn't miss, uh, they didn't lose uh, the, the shape. So if he continue to train like this, for sure he will be useful. So we have also opportunity to, to change during the game, to use the double change. But uh, when Malina wasn't in the good shape, it was a big risk for us. Okay, th thank you, sir. Um, what will be a success for Zavierce? So, do you have a special goal? When you achieve it, uh, it will be a success, or there is uh, no special goal from from the president? So, I, I, I read uh, what president said in the, some newspapers that uh, for us will be really good to be in first six. So, maybe our target can be to be fifth. Uh, he didn't post us some big uh, result, and he don't, uh, how say, make pressure on us to to do something. But inside of us, we have our dreams. So if we beat Yashembi uh, at 3-2, or we beat Rashovi at 3-1, so does mean that we are ready for some uh, tough games against everybody. Okay, we didn't we play against uh, Zaksa without Uroš, but maybe also Uroš didn't help us so much in that game. But uh, does mean that we are close to play against uh, Yashembe, against uh, Zhezhov, against uh, Belhato, Warsaw. So I think also we can be ready to play against Zaksa. So in the future, for sure, we have our dreams and we fight for our dreams. We don't want to speak in the, for the newspapers that we want to reach medal, uh, gold medal, silver medal, because it's not possible to say, because everybody has their target and dreams. But we are ready to fight. So for sure we are ready to fight. We show that we are ready to fight. Even we lose some set 25-10 or after that we are come back so fast. So that means that we are we are 
really have good mentality support. Yeah, that was a very crazy game uh, against uh, Bełchatów. Uh, to, to be honest, when I when I saw the uh, all the all the counts, uh, the statistics, uh, yeah, you, you you could throw it away because uh, yeah, when you lose your the, the second set till ten, and after after all you win three two in the tiebreak uh, after so so long tiebreak, it it was incredible game and uh, nice to watch. Uh, so, coach, I, I, I'd like to um, ask you about your contract because, uh, from my information, you have signed two years contract. And uh, would you like to stay in Zawiercie uh, longer and continuing to build even better team? So it's uh, maybe it's not it's not good time to speak about this because uh, I have contract my contract expired until end of the season. So. I'm professional in that way, so Zavirte is a really good uh, club and also it's my pleasure to be here. And also the, the, this season I feel much better here. Uh, so it does mean that uh, I'm, I'm coach. I would like to stay uh, if, if some of the club liked me, so they have to tell me and I would like to, to work when somebody want me not to to work uh, when when I would want to be uh, for example if I want to be in some the other class but they don't want me so what is the point so everything is it's up of the of the wishes of the of the divisions of the club who would, who would like to to uh, engage me okay thank you sir for this uh, answer um i got to um, okay so uh, let's leave uh, um, zavierte right now um i would like to one of our listeners uh, has uh, um, requested me to ask this question. Do you think uh, that uh, the Serbian volleyball will have a similar problem as Bulgarian in the next few years? Uh, lack of uh, big talents, so lack of success of uh, teenage teams. Do you think that uh, there can be a crisis in the Serbian volleyball in the, during the next few years? So I'm not sure that Bulgaria has that, the same problem. I think that Bulgaria has the youth and junior team really good. So, uh, but Bulgaria maybe has the, the other problems. Uh, but you are right about the Serbian or your, uh, how I say, followers. Yeah. So uh, it's it's true that uh, we don't have so good results in the youth category and uh, or junior category. Uh, but you know what is the specific of the Serbian volleyball? Also, for example, in the period of the Nikola Grbic and Goran Vujevic and, um, and the other uh, stars from uh, our country, for example, they didn't, they, 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 they weren't uh, successful in the, uh, the junior category or youth category, because in in Serbia, any time you ha you can take some some uh, talent guys and put on the on the on the system and. Uh, because you have a lot of young players in Serbia, and the, the league in Serbia is really young. This season, maybe they have more quality because most of the young players stay in Serbia and continue to play there. So you, you, you uh, the question is really good, and from that reason, it is not easy for me to explain. Uh, if you if you count the, the results of the youth and junior category. Serbia has crisis, but if you count of the some young players who can reply some uh, players in the in the in the senior team, maybe Serbia can some of them who can reply replies them. Serbia in this moment has problem in the position of the setter yeah. and position of the libero, uh, but the other position they don't have. So Uroš is not so so old, so he's 28. 28, yeah. Yes, and uh, Atanasiewicz is not so old, Luburic is not so old, so Marko Ivović is not so old, Petric is old, but uh, as I said, you can find some guys who can replace them, but setters and liberals is a really big problem for Serbia. Okay, thank you for, for, for this answer. Uh, so, uh, coach, uh, year 20, 2022, uh, the World Championships, uh, who's going to be a favorite? Uh, volleyball all time has uh, a lot of favorites, so for sure Poland will be one of the first favorites for the title. Like they had, they, they had been uh, in the past in Olympic Games on the uh, European Championship, uh, but maybe the Polish team likes just the uh, World Championship. So it's 
it will, if they repeat again, it will be really amazing result for the po po Polish team. Uh, so you have all time count on, on, on France, like Olympic champion uh, or Brazil, because Brazil is the full of the talents, Russia who grew up every season. So uh, I think that this four team, I can send also USA, uh can be favorite for the for the title in in the next uh, so also we have some teams that they are waiting position like uh, serbia like uh, probably slovenia like uh, argentina but uh, depend in argentina we will see who will play but uh, doesn't matter i think that five, five team uh, as i mentioned so it's uh, uh, you can find some of the new world champion Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, coach, uh, you said that you will not send the documents to the Polish Federation because you don't want to be a part of the show. So do you think uh, this kind of um, yeah, show is a proper uh, way to choose uh, the coach of the one of the best national teams in the world? Well, I'm sorry, but I can say that uh, I think everybody understands this, this story, so it's not it's not difficult to to see what's happened. So uh, it's normal for me. I think that I don't know. It's it's the rules of the country. It's the rules of the federation because the concourse for the head coach of the national team is not necessary for the one. They know what they want for sure that uh, uh, Mr. Sidersky as a president, he knows what he wants, who, who have, have to lead the, the, the national team of Poland. He don't need the concourse and to invite uh, 20 play, 20 coaches to 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 to, uh, to be part of this of this uh, for me show. So if somebody wants that I be coach of the national team, so he will inv invite me and speak with me. And after that, they decide they continue or not with me. So uh, from that reason, but I I I really appreciate. Uh, Polish, uh, how say, volleyball and federation, and I know that maybe it's not easy for them uh, to go this way. But for me, it's it's really easy to understand what's happening. Mm -hmm. So think, uh, because the Mr. Swiderski, every every in, uh, he's, he mentioned Nikola Grbic as the new coach of the national team. So I think he's the perfect choice for the Polish federation, and they have to go this way for sure. But what I can do there if I put uh, my documents, my CV to the Polish Federation and to, to, to be part of the cosmetic of the of the of the, this show. Mm, I understand. <laughs> so do you think this is kind of a lack of respect for the others so when when the president Shudeski says, uh, OK, Nikola Beach will be probably the next coach and uh, this is uh, uh, yeah, the, the rest of the coaches are uh, substitutes for for Beach actually because we know that uh, he got contract with uh, Perugia and uh, yeah, it depends on uh, director Sirci uh, whether he uh, yeah let him go or or not. Uh, yeah, so uh, I, I think this is the this kind of concourse, this kind of show. It's a, um, a request from the Ministry of Sports. So actually, I don't think this is the uh, this is the idea from um, yeah, National Federation. But especially uh, these words, as I said, yeah, that uh, probably Nikola Beach will be the next coach uh, can be a bit uh, bitter for the other coaches. Uh, okay, let's let, let's leave that. Uh, so no, no, I can if I can say just one. Sure. So you you, you told me that is the is the choice of the Ministry of the Sport. So does mean that the Federation has to do this concourse. So yes, it, it's 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 uh, how I say explanation of what, what's happened. But uh, for sure, it's not uh, for me to to put to to because in the previous I. Uh, four years ago, I, I applied for the, the position of the coach because I really thought that it will be really complex. But also, I, I, after that, I understand that it was the game before, that it's finished before that concourse. So, uh, in this situation, it doesn't matter the problem of Grbic, Perugia, or that uh, with the CLC, but for sure he's target of the Polish National Federation and he's the best target for sure, and he's perfect coach for the national team. So uh, I'm really I, because Nicole is my, I can say my friend. Even I was his coach. Uh, 
he he's the he's the best coach for the, for the Polish Federation at the moment. Okay, so coach, let's leave volleyball behind us. Uh, did you find some nice uh, Balkan restaurants in Zawierci already? <laughs> Zawierci is so small to to find some Balkan restaurants, so it's not easy. Uh, sometimes when my wife came to visit me here, uh, Balkan restaurants in my house, so it does. Uh, but but uh, Zawierczyk has some small and nice restaurants and uh, uh, but really in this period I didn't have time to go some around and uh, mostly I, I use the food from much fit. It's not uh, advertising for them, but uh, it's easy way for me to 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 have everything uh, to have time for everything because you you need time to go to the restaurant because yeah. it's yeah. not easy to go to the restaurant like in express restaurant to eat and go back. So it's uh, I really I really like to enjoy in the in the food. Well, so, uh, yeah. so and do do you like Polish cuisine? Do, do, have you um, uh, your favorite um, um, dish from from Poland? I like I like I like all the cuisine. So it's uh, it's uh, for me it's easy to find something here. Because I can say that you have some dishes also uh, similar, like in our country, not uh, the same, but similar. Uh, I like meat uh, in, in Poland. I like uh, soups in Poland. Um, I like some kind of the salads, uh, but I, I can find everything here. So it's, uh, I, I enjoy, if I want, I, I can enjoy in, uh, in Polish dishes. Right, so the, uh, in Poland the Christmas uh, is right behind the corner, so uh, coach, do you have some message to Polish fans? So, uh, it's, uh, you have to know that, for example, my, my, uh, my Christmas is in, in the 7th of the January, because yes. we have different uh, the calendar, because I'm Orthodox and right. we are Catholic, so uh, also I would like to, how you say, uh, to send message to also for the all the people, not just for the right. Polish people. That uh, I hope that in in next in next year and in the future we can live without this pressure of the Corona. For, first of all, to be healthy, and after that, after that we have everything. So if if, the, if we are healthy, so we, we have everything. Coach, thank you. That was my uh, last uh, request uh, to you. So uh, I really enjoyed this interview. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, I hope that uh, finally we can uh, live the next year without coronavirus because, uh, yeah, it has a big impact on our lives. And I got hope that uh, everybody will enjoy the volleyball of 2022. Thank you, sir, for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.